Okay, my YouTube people, this is a video on how to determine the cam lube and the lift that you're going to get on an unidentified cam. First thing you want to do is you want to take a veneer caliper or a micrometer and you want to measure the base circle of the cam. The base circle is here and the top of the lube is here. This has a V in it and I'll show you what Harley specs on this cam are. First thing you need to do is measure the base circle and you take the veneer caliper and you just go 90 degrees to the lube. And when I go like that, making sure I'm on the base circle, you can see right there, the needle starts to increase as I get off of the base circle. So that's how you know you're on the base circle. Right there, you can see the base circle measurement is 1.070 or one inch and 70 thousandths. Now you turn it 90 degrees and you get on the top of the lobe and you wanna get it to where it's increased the most. And that's gonna be the top of the lobe. And you just take and turn the cam and you can see the needle goes up, it comes down, goes up, comes down. So at its highest point, it's about right there. So that measurement's one inch, 0.353, or 1.353. Right here in this book, it says that a stock V cam was in an 84 to 87 evolution engine or Evo. The lift on it's 0.472, and the duration at 53 thousandths lift is 0.212 on the intake and 0.202 on the exhaust. It's 1.353. Now you want to put that into a calculator. And then you're going to subtract what the base circle is. 1.069. 1.069 is equal to 0.284. That's the lift at the cam. Now you have to multiply that number by the rocker arm ratio. On an evolution motor, the rocker arm ratio is 1.625 for stock rocker arms. And there you have it, figuring it out with the veneer caliper, it says that the lift is 0.461. And on this piece of paper, it says it's 472. So it's pretty close to what they have is what I have. That's a little bit different than what the book says, but it's pretty much right. I did double check those numbers with a micrometer and come up with the same numbers. Now, it is possible that this cam has some wear on it and that that's the difference we're seeing from the book. But it is also possible that this book has the wrong numbers in it. Either way, whatever is causing that little bit of difference doesn't change the fact that this is the proper way to check for that. So that's how you figure out cam lift. There's not a lot of cams out there for Harleys. So if you get the lift, there's a chance that you can narrow down to what camshaft you have and then figure out the duration that you have. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.